welcome to the show. Um, <clears throat> I'm Tony Green, and this is Psychic Medium Tony Green. Today, I'm going to be taking callers. Um, if you want to call in, the number is 845 277 9131. And if you want to ask a question, if you're watching me live on <clears throat> YouTube, you can just go to the little chat thing. It's showing up for me today and you can ask a question. So, so far, Genevieve has said hi. Hi, Genevieve. I love you so much. I hope you're having an amazing day and the random person. Hey, random person. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me on the show. So here's how it works. I'm going to be taking callers and answering questions in the chat. If I say your area code, please just uh, take me off of speakerphone and um, have a question or a connection ready. I say this every week. Why can I not like have it ready to go? Why do I not have this like spiel down by now? So this show is being aired on just about every podcast out there. Um, I heart Google Spreaker, all of them. And it is also being aired on TV. So YouTube TV, yes. WSCS, yes. Streaming live through channels, yes. On people's TVs. Please don't say, don't bust yourself out and don't bust anybody else out. Use incognito names if you need to, but please do not bust yourself out. Do not come in talking about I'm stealing from work or am I going to go to jail for doing this, that, and the other thing? Because guess what? This is being aired live on TV and podcasts. If you're in a third party situation, just use a fake name. That's all I can say. All righty, I'm going to start the show today with a clearing, with a healing for everybody listening and or watching and re-listening. And today we are going to start with love. And then I hear the Beatles song, All You Need Is Love. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get through today's show without singing. Yay for that. <laughs> they always make me sing some random song that is relevant to the person calling in. Why? I cannot sing. I can barely talk. I, I barely have a good talking voice, let alone a good singing voice. Okay, this is all about um, self-love, loving ourselves unconditionally we unconditionally love ourselves i get a no we're going to clear that and i'm going to piggyback onto that right away strength we are strong i get a no we're going to clear that now a lot of people are really afraid of being strong i don't i i get it like we're we're afraid of we we confuse strength with a misuse of power or control and sometimes even anger and um, there's a difference between being empowered and strong in our own energy and our own existence and being um, controlling. Controlling is actually the opposite of being strong. If you're strong, you don't need to control do diddly squat, okay? If you're strong, if you're empowered, you're in control of yourself. It's when we're not in control of ourselves that we feel the need to control everything else. Are we ready to get this going? I hope so. So a couple comments in YouTube. Uh, oh, thank you, Genevieve. Uh, my name is Heather from Oklahoma City. Thank you, Heather. The random person is Heather. <laughs> She's so mysterious. Well, if you guys have a question, please put it in the chat. I'll be happy to ask 
your question. Genevieve is asking, should I go ahead in autumn for my knee ACL? Yeah, actually, Genevieve, I'm hearing September. Late September into October is going to be the best time for that. Um, is September better? No, October. Definitely October schedule so that you're prepping in September, but having it in October. And um, one thing that they, they are saying is to... Um, Yeah, it, it, make sure of your doctor. I feel like if you've already talked to a doctor, you have the right surgeon, but just make sure of your surgeon. Feel very, very comfortable with your surgeon, okay? And that's what that is. Um, oh, Heather, random, random Heather. We're never past the turmoil in our life. Um, we just learn how to handle it better. Um, so what I'm going to say to you, Heather, is as far as the turmoil goes, sometimes we bring people into our lives or have people in our lives, whether they're partners or family members that um, add to our turmoil, but it's really not turmoil. It's just showing us what kind of like what we need to heal on our journey, things from our childhood and such. Um, but I do feel like you've gotten over a really big hump and you're about to have smooth sailing for a bit, okay? I'm gonna go to the first caller for one, five. Hey, four, one, five, how are you doing today? Hi, Tony. Uh, this is Anne. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, you're very staticky. Can you say that again? Uh, this is Anne. Hi, Anne. How are you? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Washington State. Excellent. Thank you for calling in. How can I help you today? Well, I am tired of waking up at 3 a.m. every morning, and a lot of times I stay awake. So by like 2 in the afternoon or so, I'm pretty wiped out. So if you could do a, a, a clearing, you know, if, if uh, okay. whoever is trying to give me a message, you know, please not do it at 3 a.m. How about, you know, I'm 6 a.m. Okay. <laughs> you know, yeah, at 6 a.m. you're up and excited. moving and you're not going <laughs> to listen. Okay, so here's what I'm getting. Um, we're going to clear. We're going to do clearings on people's homes right now. So I'm saying your home is clear. Everybody listening, re-listening, their home is clear. Let's clear that out. And it, Okay, everybody listen to me. This is like the most important this is a huge, huge clearing for you and your family to make sure that the energy in your home is clear and fresh. So we're going to clear that. And that's right about this eight minute mark on YouTube or the eight minute, eight minutes into the show is um, this clearing for the home. And then when I say the, our, our homes are unclear, I get a yes and that should be a no. So we're going to clear that to yet yeah, uh, to no. And, um, and I would say anytime, that you, you know, when you get the dropsies and you get the stubbing your toe and things are spilling and you just start getting irritated or sad for no reason whatsoever, or you wake up in the middle of the night, have this show ready and just play those clearings because that's when some energy, right. and I'm, I'm not even going to give it any credit as to, um, oh, it's ominous or it's this. It's just energy that doesn't match right. your energy has stepped in. And I don't right. want to say stepped in, but is affecting you. Okay. Now, mm. I'm just going to say, as per that, we're just going to clear this all up. Who let it all go. And from there, oh my 
Yeah. And, and I'm going to make sure everybody listening, re-listening is clear. I get a yes on that. Everybody listening, re-listening is unclear. I get a yes and that should be a no. So we're going to clear that to no. Uh, also, because like I said, that should be a no. So everybody listening, re-listening, everybody, um, uh, you know, participating in any way, that's around the 10 minute mark. And that every morning, just listen to that, just to get your energy fresh and clean and clear. It's it's really, uh, it does make a huge difference. It does. And the more you listen to it, the stronger and the clearer your energy becomes. Okay. And um, right. do there I need is to do a, anything in my room? Do I need to stage it or anything? No, you know, I actually, I'm I'm one of those people who says, "Don't use sage." Um, just because oh. we shouldn't fill anything with smoke that we're breathing in. So, if you want to use a something with a scent like sage or frankincense or myrrh. Get essential oils and you can use a diffuser or you okay. can get a spray bottle and use water and the essential oil and just spray it throughout your whole home. Um, water dissipates negativity. Um, that's why I love the rain so much. Uh -huh. um, so if there's negativity and heaviness, you can just get a squirt bottle, put it on a fine mist and squirt it through your home. If you add essential oil, it will help. I love, I personally love frankincense and clove together. And if you add orange to it, it's just the most amazing scent ever. Um, and I have those going systematically. Make sure every once in a while you're opening your home. And if you, if it's really hot most places right now, get an old school yeah. box fan, put it in your window facing outward and suck the old energy mm. out of your home. Now, Good a idea. lot of, yeah, a lot of people will say, oh, energy, some energy, I don't believe in this. Okay, great. Try it and see if your home feels lighter and better. We have our moments throughout the day, month, whatever, where we get like irritated, agitated, and all we can do is um, keep everything light. Um, burning a candle literally can change the energy of your home for some weird reason. I don't know why, but it does. Um, but I love squirt bottles. Pew, 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 pew. And I love um, diffusers. They make a huge difference in my home. Try them in your home and see what happens. If I... If things, and I also have an air purifier in my home, and that sucks all the air in and sends it out again, <laughs> and that seems to work too. So if you're having and uh, feeling your home heavy, stagnant, getting the dropsies or, or just feeling irritated or tired in your home, that is a really good place yeah. to start, okay? Thank you, Anne, so much for calling in. Wonderful. I hope this was helpful. Uh, yeah. Excellent. But I was wondering if there's the other, my, my personal guide, if they had anything. Was that part of it as well? Do they have messages that I'm not getting? Absolutely. And, and yes, I mean, that's part of it. Yes, that is part of it. Uh, what I can say to you, Anne, is if they're waking, if you're waking up at 3 a.m. right now, your guides will come to you. I, here's what I'm going to tell you. Your guides will come to you in your sleep and they'll give you your messages through your dreams. If you start to wake up, don't allow yourself to wake all the way up. Stay in that half asleep space and listen. Once you wake up, you're losing the messages that they want to give you. Now, what I can say, what I can 100% say is that 3 a.m. time is a time when they do try to get our attention, but it shouldn't keep us up the rest of the morning. We should be able to direct them and say, bring it to me through a dream. And definitely... 
if you are waking up every night or you're having bad dreams, there's sage essential oil and there's frankincense essential oil. Spray your bed with it. I mean, don't douse your bread. Get, you know, get a, a spray bottle, um, put some water and essential oil in it and squirt it down and you're going to be good to go for sure. Um, I'm going to go to YouTube and look at... Um, Palo Santo spray is amazing. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, it feels like an energetic reboot. And I do. And again, some people burn Palo Santo. Some people burn sage. I just don't want your home full of smoke and you're breathing that in. Okay. So use a spray or an essential oil, a diffuser, a spray bottle. And like I said, heavy energy will dissipate and dissolve just with water. I mean, seriously, if you squirt water through your home, you're going to notice a huge difference. Trust me. Just try it. Try it. And tell me what your experience was. Have a window open if you do that or a door. Um, and that was from a dollar joke. Hey, how are you? Um, James, hello. I will be starting a new job for the remaining months of 2021. Will it last 2021? Yes, it will actually... Given the fact you don't go in and try to be, you know, funny or whatever, it should last into 2022, I'm getting. Uh, congratulations on the new job. I do feel like you are going to get another offer. It's going to be up to you if you stay where you are or take the another offer. The another offer will come in um, later on down the line. So don't worry about this position lasting forever know you're divinely taken care of and there will be another offer for you coming in i hope that makes sense to you okay uh, i am gonna go to five four one hello is this hi hi tony how are you yeah this is Oh, I'm good. This is Nancy from Oregon. And I talked to you over a year ago, and I was really going through some difficult times, and you really helped me then. Oh, thank you. And since then, oh, you're welcome. And since then, I've gone through many, many changes. I've moved to another state, Oregon. And um, pretty much, I don't know people here in the town that I live in. And I'm wondered if um, I eventually physically will meet like-minded people, higher vibrational people, and I'm not saying, you know, through ego that, but, you know, just people that are more awake, not woke, but more awake, <laughs> and um, even maybe... <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I get what you're saying. Much. Okay, so here's... Um, yeah, it's been really difficult um, to meet new communities of people and to be out and about. Everybody's, um, it feels like everybody's just coming out of a coma and re-learning or reliving things. Um, so let's, um, let's, let's do this. Everybody listening, re-listening, including you, is on their path. We're going to strengthen that. And then we're going to get... Um, there's something stopping or blocking us from healthy, like-minded, happy relationships. I get a yes. Let's clear that. Now, what I am going to say is um, go to places that are in alignment. This is what I'm getting for you. Go to places that are in alignment with your belief systems and your frequency. Like if you believe in... Um, Let's just say, for example, crystal healing, or you believe in um, uh, uh, stones or whatever. In your area, there will be places. You'll be drawn to the right place. Go in and feel it. If it feels right, good. And uh, see if they have any events coming up, because people are finally starting to do events and group gatherings again. And I feel like that's going to be a really good Thing for you. Also, I'm getting health food stores if they're having holistic or 
whatever events, that would be a good place for you to meet people also. Um, Like-minded, in okay. alignment with your belief type of people. I do feel like there are some really good people coming in for you that are going to make a huge difference in your life. You are going to be divinely aligned. If you like um, out like hiking or walking, I feel like you're going to get with a group that really enjoys that. <clears throat> and you can go to a local okay. store that like a local um, running shoe store and you'll find groups via that connection also okay love yeah well that certainly does make a lot of sense Perfect. and um i am joining some groups that i hopefully it's actually we meet on zoom but it's in my area and hopefully i can meet some people through some of those groups uh, physically yeah, I, I do feel like there are people coming in, um, and I feel like they're going to be a really good match for you. I do feel like it is coming through these sort of meetups or events or um, these sort of um, things that are things that you would like, and you're going to really uh, mm -hmm. enjoy them. Remember, make sure there are things that you like and then jump in right. on them. Okay, sweetie? Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day. And please don't hesitate to call in again if you feel like you have questions or you need answers or uh, anything like that. If you do want to call in, the number is um, 845-277-9131. I want to give a shout out um, to Rude Rangers TV. If you have content, if you have videos, shows that you want distributed um, through Ruco, Apple TV, Amazon Prime, <clears throat> excuse me, please, by all means, reach out to RudeRangersTV.com. And talk with Rudy. He is a content delivery person and he does an amazing job at um, getting your content out there for everyone. If you would like a publicist, contact Amber at Legacy PR. She's an amazing publicist, does amazing work for people. I, I work with both of them personally and professionally and they are just really good people, amazing people. Okay, I'm going to go back to my YouTube chat, and I am going to talk to some of the people in my YouTube chat. If anybody on YouTube has a question, please feel free to post it. Um, I know that I am going to be... Um, uh, not thinking very well in this moment, actually. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say we're going to do another clearing. We've done self-love and we've done strength. I'm going to help people open up their intuition right now. So if you want to open up your intuition, uh, some people don't want it open. That's okay. But I'm going to say our intuition is open and working perfectly. We're hearing it and trusting it. I get a no. So we're going to clear that right now. Um, and I'm going to go any messages from my guy from Heather, my guides, not guide, uh, my guides from Heather. Heather, the, the biggest thing they want you to know right now is, um, and they're saying this in quite a blunt way. They're saying, take out the trash. I feel like they don't mean that literally. I feel like you take out your trash on a regular um, but what they're saying is anyone in your life that is trashing it, making it, uh, anyone bringing garbage to you, anyone not honoring you, anyone not in alignment with you. Okay. <sighs> Heather, anyone causing chaos in your life, anyone causing, um, drama, trauma, confusion, any of those things, it's time to let them go. It's time for you to 
Um, I have this statement that I always use, and it's, it's this statement is, if you weren't afraid, what would you do? Who would you be? And I, I love that statement. If you weren't afraid, what would you do? Who would you be? Heather, for you and probably everybody listening, they're saying, if you didn't feel guilty, who would be out of your life? If you weren't worried about this person or you didn't feel guilty about letting them go or you didn't feel like, oh, but if I, you know how we we have so much compassion for a person and we don't want to hurt a person. Well, if you didn't have those feelings, who would be left in your world? That's who's supposed to be there. We shouldn't have people in our world for that purpose, right? We need to have people in our world because it's an equal, um, good, well, however we want to say it, uh, mix, okay? And then a dollar a joke is asking, I'm mostly here for the good vibes. <laughs> I tend to feel cut off from life. And it's nice to spend time with you. Well, thank you so much. I'm going to do, um, if you feel cut off from life, I'm going to do We're Running Forward. Ooh, that is a good one. Thank you, a dollar joke, because this is so important. We need to be running forward with life and all life has to offer us. And I'm getting a no. So we're going to clear that. And I'm going to ask you to listen and re-listen to the show because there are some hella powerful clearings in this show. Now, the clearings are done by the angels, guides, um, ancestors that come in and really powerhouse your energy and heal it and get you where you need to be. Um uh, yeah, you do. You know what, Heather, you do have a bunch of people that sure enough need to be cleared out of your energy and your life. Listen, everything is an energy exchange. You need to be with people who are giving what they're taking. If they're not giving what they're taking, it's time to pew, 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 cut them off. Cut. You know what? Girl, the, the vision they're showing me and what I'm hearing is you're not a baby. You don't need anybody latching on you, sucking sucking stuff out of you that 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 they don't belong, like taking your energy, taking your money, taking your peace of mind, taking your good life away from you, okay? Um, Oh, everyone has left your life. I'm sorry. You know what I, I say? Um, when people leave my life, I always thank God. Because that means you're evolving to a new level. You're moving up energetically. And leaders, I'm going to tell you something. Leaders are not surrounded by... Um, leaders stand alone. People who are ascending, sometimes we go through the ascension, we go through this whole, we're moving up and we have to um, be evolved. And people who are not energetically moving up will fall off, out of our range of being, okay? Um, so I can, I'm going to do this this really quick energy bit comparison that I do there's you know our energetic being our frequency our vibration can be at its lowest the most depressed we've ever been and at its highest the most euphoric we've ever been and there are ranges below that and ranges above that for frequency and vibration um when we are and and most of the time we're someplace in the middle but we level up we we level up energetically um I am going to thank everybody for coming on today, for watching, listening, and being here with me. I am so grateful for each and every one of you. Remember, it's your job to make the miracles in your life.